Welcome to Powderhorn Neighborhood here in Minneapolis. My name is Taylor, I'm with Realty Group. Today we are here interviewing one of our top agents, Artemisa Boston. Artemisa is the number one Latino agent in the US. We are so proud of her and her success. We're excited to get to know her better, so let's go check her out. My name is Artemisa Boston and I am a real estate agent with the company Realty Group. And I am the number one Latina in US by transactions and the number one agent in Minnesota by transactions. What is your secret to success? I have a lot of discipline and I am a really hard worker. And obviously like, you need to have like a, a good like, team no? to help you to, to be successful. So this is not like only me doing this stuff. It's like a, a lot of people behind me trying to do the best. And you need to be passionate about everything that you do. Having a balance is important but I also a mother and a wife and a daughter and a sister. How do you have balance when you're so busy? So I transfer my phone to another phone. So another assistant is answering the phone and now I found the way to transfer my text messages. So another person is answering the text messages. What's your favorite part about being a realtor? I really love to sell houses. Okay, I love the families being like so happy and and with hope. Why do you think customers like working with you? You see when someone is authentic, no? Yeah. It's like when you really see that the person cares, that the person is not only there for the money. So what do you like about working at RG? It's really comfortable when someone like wants the same, no? That you are not afraid to ask a question. We wanna like make money all together. I have never ever been afraid to ask a question to Long and Mike. I think we do like a really good partnership. What advice would you give to newer agents? It's just don't give up, okay? Because obviously rejection is terrible. And when someone says no, even me after 20 years when someone says no, I feel bad. And then probably they are going to say no 10 times that day. But if someone says yes, yes, no?